Hello, today I want to do a little video about the church industry and I wanted to say that um, I have found through being in ministry that uh, for the most part the church industry uh, specifically seminaries people that offer courses are more concerned with their business end of uh, following our Lord than uh, being moved in his spirit and listening to him I'm afraid and I say this because uh, starting a chaplain's organization which I won't mention any names here uh, I've been contacted with people that by people who said they're no longer in chaplaincy and they want to uh, come aboard with our group and be a part of our group and advertise with our group which is a child of God I take them at their word then later to go back and find out that uh, that's not the truth at all that they still do offer chaplaincy in in their courses but they were concerned because our group was undercutting them financially so it gets all about gets down to money all about money rather than uh, serving our Lord uh, and this is a trick of the devil um, because we all know that God is spirit and we follow the Holy Spirit of Christ if we are truly his and listen and walk uh, in his spirit as his disciple if we are in fact disciples of our Lord this is our primary objective to listen and follow our Lord not to make money on courses uh, not to uh, make a, a good name for yourself in the ministry world and your accreditations and all you know oh this is a this is a uh, well-founded organization a deeply respected organization but um, and the father of lies gets in there uh, when we have been moved to offer uh, chaplaincy um, courses for the lowest possible price because we don't feel that we should be making money on the gospel or money on ministry uh, and this is why we've uh, chosen to do such a thing but then what happens is you undercut other chaplains or seminary or church organizations and they become very irritated at this and uh, brother Justin did a tape called beware the joiners where they want to if you're doing something of God they want to hitch their wagon to you seeing and knowing that you're following the Holy Spirit of God they become convicted and they want to join in but the problem is because of the flesh and all of our sinful natures uh, if we're not truly following Christ alone in our spirit then we're going to try to become the top of the heap it's going to become a competition uh, within churches how many members do we have or, or are we uh, making good money at this and it's almost a um, a rouge uh, they're camouflaging themselves in the love of Christ but really their first God is that dollar bill making that money and I'm sorry but you can't serve God and mam and both this is what the Bible's talking about and I hate to say it but most of these um seminary type of church establishments do serve their organization first rather than following Christ because if they followed Christ their organizations would go down the toilet which is maybe where they belong but uh, this is something that I've learned uh, in not being an academic and being thrown in with people that are academics um, in my other videos I pointed out how the Lord Jesus Christ uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise he speaks to the people that are lowly and soft in heart and the world laughs and scoffs and rejects that because they're on a total different trajectory 
than um, a humble man or woman of God are that are just concerned with following our Lord. So this is a little video I wanted to make today uh, and seeing some of the uglier truths that the Lord's showing me within church organizations. So be aware of the joiners. Be aware of people that claim the name of Christ, but in spirit, uh, in your discernment walking with the Lord, you come to realize the ugly truth that this is not at all the case. They are not at all following Jesus Christ, but they are following their establishment, their worldly kingdom in naming his name. God bless you all. And maybe I'll give you another uh, couple of uh, nidbits of my wonderful knowledge that the Lord is showing to me about the world. Uh, and um, it's all—it's not at all pretty. Uh, I, I also want to interject that my wife was called a dinosaur by some of her friends, her worldly friends, because of the simple truths she tries to follow in her heart. And this is... Um, the type of thing that um, not only um, the church competes with following Lord Jesus Christ in our heart, but the world itself. God bless. Bye.